Good evening, everyone. How gracious and wondrous that the Lord gives us this time to be with him. And especially with this uh, uh, hymn that's in the second reading from uh, St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. That's a good prayer to use for adoration. Uh, there are many prayers, especially the glory at Mass is wonderful. Uh, but this also is an outstanding one to um, use in a prayer of adoration. Now we go on to uh, the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time, uh, beginning with Ezekiel chapter 18, verses 25 to 28. God is the only source of life. Everything and everyone else apart from God can only produce death. Iniquity or sin is a rejection of God as our source of life. The fruit of sin is death that has no redemption. What counts at the time of judgment is where our life is at the time of judgment. God finds us on the right road of the straight and narrow at the time of judgment. We are on our way to heaven. On the other hand, all the past good we have done will not cancel out the present state of sin that we are in. In the third reading, Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 to 32, Ezekiel's reading parallels today's parable. Yesterday's sin is wiped away by today's change of heart. However, today's sin is not wiped away by yesterday's goodness. The yes that the chief priest and the elders said to God yesterday does not, for, does not gain for them forgiveness for today's rejection of Jesus. On the other hand, the tax collectors and the prostitutes who were sinners yesterday but today accept and follow Jesus are on their way to heaven. The old saying is that we are sinners on our way to becoming saints, not saints on our way to becoming sinners. We can never become complacent on our way to heaven. This world, the devil, and some of our own natural tendencies can easily put us back on the wrong road. The going on in the second reading, do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Jesus said in Luke chapter 9, verses 23 to 24, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Original sin embedded in our human nature calls us to grab everything for ourselves before others get it. This life lived on the basis of the survival instinct, where all our lives are all about oneself and those one considers part of oneself. Jesus demands that we live in him and he lives in us. That's from John chapter 14, verse 4. Or that we lose our grip on our daily lives so that we live this life, life giving in his life-giving strength and his will. Paul says that Jesus emptied himself of living only in a divine state in heaven, but humbled himself by taking on human nature. His infinite love for us led him to become human so that he could sacrifice himself for the sake of our redemption. Because of this, God greatly exalted him, so that we may all declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. If God is everything for us, then we will have everything that is good and have it forever. I, I mentioned before about going back to the um, uh, readings, of the, um, the script itself. If we read that over, that's a good place for us to do some more reflection and understand more deeply the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in every way.